Hello everyone. May I offer uh, God's word for today, a word of encouragement for you. This is out of Psalm 118 verse 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made. What an, um, what an important mindset to have. These days that we're living, they're not random, they're not out of control, they're not even controlled by the evil one. Of course, the evil one has his plans, but the Lord always redeems, always makes good, always takes what um, what is uh, seems to be a, a, a problem and works them for our good. I want to encourage you this day to look at this day as a gift from the Lord that he is working. There's an alertness and an awakeness to seeing this day as the Lord's day, there's a there's a there's an immediacy to what He is doing. Uh, I showed up at the hospital five minutes after um, a brother had died, and I thought I was late. And the family first thing out of their mouth said, "You're exactly you're right on time," and you see how the Lord had just brought me there at just the right time. They needed that time, uh, and then now they needed to begin grieving in a different way with hope. And uh, a brother of mine uh, came out of a store just as he was coming out. This lady was plopped down plopped down on a on a uh, bench and uh, she just seemed so dejected. And my brother asked this lady, um, are you okay? Can I can I uh, pray for you? If he had come out 10 seconds before, 10 seconds after, he would have missed that. But this woman received ministry that moment um, because of the timing of the Lord, because the Lord is in charge of this day. So may you see this day with an alert mind to understand what God is doing and to be in the moment, be prepared to do what it is that he's asking. Even at the end of the day to see, oh, this is what he did. Thank you, Lord. So at the end of the day, we can rejoice and be glad in it. May you have a wonderful, God-filled day. Amen.